Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well and uh, let me show you a little bit. I just arrived here in Charlene, which is uh, in fact where uh, my uh, wife uh, and my uh, relatives uh, live and I'm going there for a few days. And in fact, um, as you can see, this is the modern train station. So I'm really angry about this. And as usual, you know me, I'm always the grumpy French man, you know, and I think it's a big waste of public money because uh, you have so few trains. I think there is only one train a day, one train a day that goes, comes here. And for these trains, they had to build this. You know, there used to be an old train station. Hopefully, it's not destroyed. And this old train station uh, was really beautiful. And is very beautiful. I wanted to show you. Inside, you have uh, uh, some... Um some beautiful painting from the communist time. It's really a beautiful train station. And now you don't go through there. You need to go through this ugly building. And it must have cost uh, really some money. What's the point of doing this? You see, well, I, I don't understand. And here we are trying to get the taxi. And it's also really funny. There's no legal taxi. All the taxi here, they are only the, the black taxi, you can see. And I'm going inside. So I, I want my, my parents-in-law uh, uh, are discussing the price. My father-in-law here is discussing the price. And it's interesting because uh, in China you have always the black taxis everywhere. And who are these guys? In fact, they are just people who have a normal job and they will just, uh, at the same time, they will just uh, do black taxi because they know they can pay, they can pay, uh, get money this way. And you have all kind of black taxis. Sometimes, um, a few times I saw some Porsche, you know, Porsche, <laughs> the, the, the expensive uh, car, the brown, and the guy were, were doing the taxi, you know, because his car co cost a million. It's so expensive to buy a Porsche, and he wanted to buy a Porsche, and after that, he will still do the taxi, and the price is the same as any other taxi. So you have all kinds of people. You have some people, they uh, don't have uh, work, and they will buy the small electrical uh, vehicle, and they will do the taxi. You have the moto, the, these guys, they, they ride the moto, and they will do the taxi. Uh, you have some people that just uh, work for uh, as a driver for some officials and then they will also do the taxi uh, when they are going back home. Uh, you have some people that would, they would like, they, w they want to buy an expensive car but it's too expensive for them so they would, what they will do to cut the, cut the price of the, of the car is that they will just uh, um, uh, be a black taxi and, and this is really something crazy in China. You have black taxis everywhere and I'm glad you have this guy because if you didn't have the black taxis because of the the traffic jams and uh, and before the, uh, the traffic jam it's really tough to find a taxi especially during rush hours you have no taxi it's funny you have uh, it's just there's nothing because this uh, this must be uh, on the outskirt of the city so uh, that's what they do uh, now in China when they build the modern um, modern uh, train stations and uh, uh, there's nothing around here you only had some field and uh, Therefore, uh, even you don't have any restaurant. It's just some people here. They just live here in this in this uh, in this place, and they have a small restaurant, and they can have a few customers every day. That's what they are doing. You call this place here. And, uh, I'm going to leave you because I need to get on uh, the black taxi. Okay, <laughs> I will. I will leave you. Take care, everyone. See you next time. You can see me in the window. I think.